Okay. Um, this is the tier one fabrication hitch. You'll see a segment coming up where I'm actually putting this on a um, truck frame. Uh, I felt rushed doing that segment, so I wanted to clarify some things and kind of go in more detail. For one, Tier One's not paying me to do this, not sponsoring. They don't even know I'm doing this. So, uh, Chris at Tier One, that's K R I S, the probably one of the nicest people you'll ever do business with. Very nice, very receptive, always getting back to my emails. And so, um, really cool guy. Never met him in person, but I, I like doing business with people like that. So anyway, uh, whew, where was I? This, these clamps are one piece. I see some guys with homemade ones where, where they just take pieces of metal and weld them. I wouldn't use a hitch like that. This is a high stress area. I believe this is uh, hardened and it is machined. These will come out. They do turn, as you can see there. And you can get. So this is. So these are, let me see if I can get this. These are cut pointed. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. See the cut point bites into the, I don't know if we can see that or not. Where am I at here? There we are. Bites into the metal of the frame. Um, I'll probably get some new the new ones here pretty quick. It's about a year old. Uh, another thing is these are hardened, but these are not. You see me using a crescent wrench a lot of times on these. Before I got the right size wrench. I'm trying to remember what size you, you can see these kind of boogered up a little bit. Get a right size wrench. Uh, I think these are three quarter. These, I forgot what they are. I'll go get the wrench here in a minute and show you. But that's pretty much this clip coming up. Other than that, I, I wanted to show you a couple things right there. Felt like I was a little bit rushed in that. I was trying to get hooked up to that truck and get out of that yard, get out of people's way because there's other people needing to hook up. Just going to go ahead and turn this around. Since you know, I think I covered it in this next segment, but I, I'm not sure. I don't tighten these up very tight. I don't tighten these up real tight. Um, well, I tighten them up. Hard to explain. I tighten them up as tight as I can get them without really bearing down on them. Um, if you ever snap one of these off, and you can, you better have yourself a good pipe wrench with new jaws on it, or, or you're going to be there a while. So I, I, I get them as tight as I can, but I'm not putting excess pressure on them. When you start tightening this up, you will feel it bite into the metal um, of the frame. And that's really, you just need these to buy it in. Then I tighten up my um, jam nuts. Same way here. I, it's tight there. Probably one more turn is all I do. Because when you've got this out against the frame, okay, these aren't going to move. These better not move when you've got these tightened down. Um, so there's no really use to, and this is softer than this. This is softer than the frame of the truck. You don't want, as you can see, you know, see there, it kind of, it bites in really easy. So there's no need to really tighten these down. In my opinion, there's no, I see guys cr cranking on these jam nuts. There's no, me, I just, I just tighten them down to a tight and just give them a little snug up and because they're just there to prevent these from backing out. Let me go get that wrench real quick. Okay, back. This is a, the, the one I use for the jam nuts is an inch and an eighth. Like I said, this is, this is just the jam nuts keep this these nuts from backing up. That's it. That's all I do when I, I see you guys crank it down. Um, just don't need it. You're just a jam nut. So inch and eighth for that one. This is actually what I use for 
Okay, these are three quarters. This is three quarters. I don't use this to tighten these because I like to get a more of a uh, bigger wrench. I use these for the stiffeners and our rattle brackets. Um, these open in three quarter, but a three quarter box in will not fit these. I forgot what size that is. I think one inch, but I think it takes a six point socket because I think I have a 12 point socket that I got stuck on the very first one I tried. So anyway, let's get on to this next segment. Um, I think I said these were 375 plus shipping. This is a tier one fabrication pinch, what some people call a pinch hitch. Some call it a frame rail hitch. I think technically it is a frame rail hitch. You have two cup pointed hardened screws that bite into the frame here have one that holds your adjustment in and out same way here same way here you've got two these are cut pointed they bite into the frame they little, little circles in the frame um two inch receiver people these are not to hook your safety chains onto <laughs> stop doing that these are handles to carry that's all your safety chains go to the frame someplace so um, I see a lot of people hooking safety cables and chains to these. If your hitch comes undone, you're going to lose everything. And you, uh, some DOT people will give you a ticket for hooking your safety chains here if you get inspected. They go to the frame. Um, not to the 2 before either, or 2 by 3 So pretty simple, just a couple pieces of steel. These are hardened. And I, I like, I mean, this thing's beefy. Don't, this is probably 60 pounds or so. This is a heavy hitch. Their website does not do this thing justice. It doesn't look like much on their website, on their Facebook page. But when I got this thing, I could grief, this thing's a monster. It is huge. Um, what I don't like about it is this right here. These two tubes going this way if I need to flip this over and you can you can pull these out and turn these any way you need to get this oriented the way you need it but if I need it pointed down guess what happens you're offset it doesn't work now if I had the type that just had one tube across and it had these I could turn it either way and I wish I had bought one of those and I probably will in the future but this um three when i bought this one it was 375 plus shipping shipping to my house was 80 bucks like i said this thing is heavy you can see it just uh, just clamps onto the frame there and that's a pretty good job i've never had it fail knock on wood or cross member but that's pretty much it there's not a lot to these um if these are hardened like i said these are welded on which i've got the single tube one uh, but if you need just need an inexpensive inexpensive um this will do it for you so that's my review of the tier one fabrication hitch there's not a lot to it two inch receiver just anything to anything fits your regular two inch receiver is going to fit this and let's say that to me the biggest uh con is the double now if you just always haul well if you always haul semis or something like this it's not bad but if you ever need to turn it down then you can run in problems so anyway just give me a little overview there any questions feel free to ask